Greetings everybody and welcome back to Daddy the Grand, the Granddaddy Play Spire. What can I say guys? Still missing Jodario, but we are still going strong. Our people keep getting better at the right, so do we. And so do our enemies, so let's actually keep that in mind as well. There's more stuff to read, so let's look straight into that. What do we have here? The eight scribes. We found each of the others in due time. By fate, not by coincidence. The wise Luz Glorian stood among the threes, gazing at the stars, expecting us. The wild witch Milith was so enthralled by Malish's utter transformation, she stayed her sorceries. Blessed born Triesta swooped down upon us, but to warn of imminent attack. The many maned Yomue thus intervened and shared with us his humor and assent. Even the under king Oris himself sought out an audience with us. Thus we became the eight and journeyed on together. There's probably more to read, right? Yeah, of course there is. What do we have here? The Nest of Trieste. The ashen effigy of the Nightmare Titans, Xylvia's horse headed, looms as dark as ever on the precipice of the Black Basin, where her chaotic influence sundered the land itself, until it wept with fire. The very instant that our graceful friend Trieste, Tethys, finally laid to rest the greater titan with the power of the Holy Scepter of the Empire, the stars shone down upon us all with blinding light. Trieste thought that she could bear her children in the warmth there, but alas. Now the stars will visit the locale with regularity. The fissures in the rock do pose more danger than one ought invite, but its summons to the nest is to be honored. It's probably more. I'm reading one more, then we go on with the story. Let's see here. The Book of Rites. Much can be said about the Sisters of the Ark, whom we banish to the great beyond, for deeds irredeemable. Suffice it that details of banishment are written in this book. The Sisters and the book became inseparable, not unlike the stars, their light, and the infinite darkness that engulfs them. The stars communicate to us and you in turn. The words within this book are but an edifice, a simple surface. Look past the text to the hidden meaning, to the hidden power. The stars above, as they are not mere lights, these are not mere words. If you chance upon the sisters of the Ark within their prison here, give them our thanks. That's probably still more, right? Yeah. Next time. Let's continue our journey. Man, I wonder how Jadariel is doing. I hope she's doing fine. I hope she's being honored for having made it out. I think this is probably where I have to go, right? Oh yeah, I can actually boost myself a bit here. Hey, what's the big idea, huh? Oh, it's your Nine Rings. Come to rub it in again, I guess. We tempers, we've been trading flames with you, who knows how long. So what? You got us once or twice, lady. Mad of time before we go and get you back. So you might want to keep that in mind next time you go messing with these horns, hear me? Now get out of my sky! Wow, really? That's so rude, you son of a gun. Who's here? Katie okay, next is that. I want to ram him again. Just to show him. There you go! You rude son of a gun, you. He deserved that. He needed that. Let me tell you all about that. Someone flying in here as well? Doesn't seem to be the case. Oh, I would've... I would've been able to ram them good. A gloom hangs thick above the pit of Milith, and all around it... You are brave to seek your adversaries here again, Rita. Many in the dance I believe it to be nothing other than a foul den. They take the tales of Icelag Astralborn to the mythology, embellished through retelling over time. The Star Titan, sealed away by the scribe Molten Milith, it subs upon despair and fear and doubt, and lands such as our own. That sounds good. You have met others, such as Witch Udmilt. Who believe otherwise, although whichever their beliefs, I know of none who would go near the place unless the stars demanded it. 
Thus, surely a coming raid against the accusers take place in complete secrecy, as always the rights have. Alright, where are these busters? Gold mode. Headwind suspects that you may find some peace here from many hard days of travel. She expresses her interest in this route. And he knows of a task along this route through which you may earn Stardust. I don't quite know what Stardust is, so I want to find out. Let's go here. Can I land, please? Thanks. You return to the dismal region known as Flagging Hands. Straight away, you sense an air of dread, yet cling to hope that you can make your stay as brief as possible. You and your fellow exiles have time to yourselves before the day is done. Nonetheless, the dismal environs soon take their toll on everyone. Yeah, I figured that would happen. The Beyond the Crystal Seeks Sir Gilman. Ooh, I am very, very tempted in that. I was beginning to wonder when you would return. Let's ask her what is on her mind first. You know, my lovely reader, I must admit that I did not expect your little followers to be quite so receptive to instruction as thus far they have proved. I know not whether they owe it all to you or I have somewhat more to them than I was first inclined to think. In any case, however, I am pleased that they are not entirely disgraceful. I like to keep my expectations well on check, seeing as I have been thus expelled until the end of time. So it is pleasant when those expectations are exceeded every now and then. Although I cannot quite recall when last that was. But the best part of all of this are these brief times in which you visit me in my domain. I know you cannot for long. This damn crystal which I am enthralled shall see to that. Though as you have perhaps surmised, whenever it decides that one of your little friends is worthwhile enough, why, I can offer them a trial. And, likewise, I can offer you a chat. Sometimes I think, as you achieve those trials of mine, perhaps it does something to trim the length of my eternal banishment. Eternity being what it is, however, perhaps not. Still, if the trophies of those blasted scribes are worth something to you, then all you need is but to brave my trials, and they can be yours. And perhaps there's good in it for me as well. <laughs> then something changes in here, and she changes the subject. <laughs> I've likely said too much. I'm not to influence you in your use of the Beyond the Crystal. It is not there to be tampered with by anyone, including me. Forget what I said. Let's request of her the scribe trial for our trusty Sir Gilman. Now oh, that can be arranged. You need button name for me the one you have in mind. Are you ready for the task, Gilman? You asked Senator to administer one of your special trials for Sir Gilman. You think that dimwit of a worm has any chance? Perhaps you are correct, though I put little stock in him myself. Though, let us bring him forth. Soon Sir Gilman appears in heat of the summons. Master Reader, is this knight perchance in trouble or something? How could you be in trouble, Sir Gilman? You're great. Rim such as Gilman are quick and effective in close quarters of the rights. Their armor trails can wall of their adversaries. Let's see how this is going to fare. The apparition Sandra appears and unfastens her mask. Listen well, Worm. Your answer to me here. Um, as you will, your highness. Your highness. I like the sound of that. Though flattery shall get you nowhere here. Demonstrate your competence to me then, Worm. You shall have to do it mostly on your own, though under the guidance of your lovely reader. I trust you are prepared. Of course, your highness, this knight accepts this challenge. Alright, Gilman. That's a very peculiar lineup we have here. Ooh, that was a good one. No. Nope. Uh, that's not quite what I had in mind there. Damn. Very bad. She is rushing through it. I was trying to go for a throw there, but I wasn't able to. No. Ah, that was a good dash. Two. 
one way back. Oh. Thanks for that, girl. Oh, overshot, overshot, overshot. Still made it, though. God bless. Yeah, no. Damn. And... Not sure what's happened there. Really not sure what's happened there. And make a run for it. Oh my god. Damn. Those Bog things, they can jump like crazy. I absolutely forgot all about that. There you go. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. I thought I made that jump. I could have sworn I made that jump. Oh, that's bad. No bounty here. Damn. She got me. She's going to make a run for it, I can tell. Or not. Is she trying to aim for me with that? That's very rude. There you go. Trolley has some kind of power that makes that throw banish me if I'm unlucky. Damn. Four, three, two, one. Don't you do it. There you go. Let's see. This looks promising. I missed it. Wanted to go for a good old jump in there. That's nice. Only one more. And... So close. She's making a run for it. I should be able to make it in time, though. Catch it, get it, grab it. That's a tree, man. And... There we go. First try it with the Gilman. Ha-ha! For freedom. Huzzah! This night prevails! I have no choice but to concur with that assessment, Worm. Your performance was sufficient and you passed my test. Thus, congratulations are in order to you and your totally lovely reader. Now, farewell. Sandra's favorite. I got an achievement for that, too. Let's see what we receive as a reward for that. We're back. Master Reader, this night is humbled after having passed that sorcerer's test. Wah! By the scales of the Under King Ors. What is that you have? Or scales. So Grimman jumps farther than usual. Interesting. Not sure if that's really good because I feel like I overshoot his jump because of how fast he is. But you know what? Better having that than not having that. The White Minister World's white loot affords your glimpses of your journey through the downside, through the music it contains. Surviving Exile, nothing for now. More listings. It's a vagrant song in here. I wanna see. The Herald. Strange Voyage. Vagrant song it is here. Oh, that's so good. I'm glad they added this. Let's keep on reading. Flagging hands. Beyond the valley lies the flagging hands, which could be called a swamp. If an entire sea could merely be a lake. Soon after our arrival, several of us fell into a dark despair, such were the environs. I found it rather fascinating, though. It held us back reminiscent of the southern box we dwelt in as a tat. We grew accustomed to the dampness of the air and grew to savor certain tricks and beetles. It can be said the flagging hands are an acquired taste, recommendable only for those of our same bent, or perhaps the downside's native imps. The sea surrounded the environments on three sides, appearing insurmountable at first. 
Well, I'm not one for a quiet taste all that much myself, I think. Alright, I would say we continue on. You follow the lone minstrel in pursuit of what you came to find. The Borg Dwellers of Flagging Hands are some of the only creatures that can stand it here, and even they, just barely. This particular region is the agricultural heart of the area, but as you can see there is little left to harvest. Perhaps though, you can help them plant a stronger crop. The Lone Minstrel leads you to a sad little patch of mud. He leans down and speaks into the earth. Hail, O Borg Dweller! I have brought to you a reader. Please tell him what you need. Some sort of creature shambles forth. With broken hands it points you to a collection of foul seeds and simple garden tools. It is work familiar to you and to your surprise the soil is rich and fertile. Grains and other crops could grow. The planting job proves simple enough. It is almost a relief from all your travels. It is a modest effort on your part, yet the bog dweller seems elated as much can be said of such a creature. It insists on paying you for your assistance. A bunch of stardust. Oh yeah, I forgot that's a thing. But a pretty powerful one too. Five extra ranges, that's good. Let's return to the wagon then. And continue on our journey. Being here in Flagging Ants continues to zap everyone's spirits. Yeah, I figured that would happen. The Pit of Millith. I suppose that's where I have to go, huh? Oh, I wasn't looking forward to this, but I really wanted to see the humans again. Here in the fetid swamps of flagging ants, you encounter a message imp come to deliver news and rumors from the other side. The news this time pertains to Jadariel, whom you liberated at the fall of Solium. You learn Jadariel's past transgressions have all been forgiven. She soon was to be reinstated on the blood border on the presumption that she wanted her old status back. In fact, she was offered an especially prestigious leadership position in the first veil for a demon such as she could not be seen in the streets. An elite blood border platoon, shrouded and in secrecy, other than the famous results of its operations. The Commonwealth's veiled leaders always were surrounded by sentinels in similar garb. But she refused the gesture, rather bluntly the report suggests. Instead, she sought Wolfred's agents, as well as several of her former fostered sons and daughters. And so, the ranks of the revolution grow stronger. The last part of the messenger imp's news must have been damaged in transit, though appears to be in Jadariel's own words. All you can tell is that it says, Oh wait. Oh, you thank the messenger imp for relaying this information. Your companions are excited to discuss the news. There's nothing she can handle. I miss her bad sometimes, but I'm glad she is alright. So am I, Hedwin. So am I. Kihu Hu. Tizo's fired up about the news of Jadero's return to the Commonwealth. You give it to him for us, Jody. I knew you had it in you. Do you think she still has her horns now that she's back up there? Tch. Wonder what the rest of her message said. She's an inspiration to us all, or to this night she is at least. The news of Jodoria's liberation fills you and your fellow exiles with newfound resolve. Yeah, that's my girl. I do wish Jodoria not luck, because luck is for, user, for losers. I wish her all the success in all of her endeavors. Oh, I'm so glad that we got word of her successes. I am so happy. Makes me feel better about the upcoming trials as well. Oh, and even more pages revealed. I feel like every time I read one of them, I have to read three more. What is this? What is this? Flagging fungus. Occasionally produces foul-tasting mushrooms that are strangely satisfying to pluck from it. Received a black cap. Okay, that's cool. That's very neat. I'll read one more before the trial. Before the ride. 
I wish to be remembered not for boastfulness. Thus, I refrain from detaining our exploits across the lands. Safe to say that they were numerous. Know that only through our combined strength of arms and wit did we withstand this savage land. Such were the monstrous dangers that it posed. I come to see that all the terrors which I heard at Batside in my youth were based entirely in fact. So great they were, they blotted out the sky. Such was the evil that we vanquished, that the remnants of it yet shine under the stars. And in the end, it was the stars which guided us toward our truest calling. That was satisfying to read. Some alcohol before the next ride. Very nice. Okay, I think we can go now, right? Deep in thought. Yeah, you better be deep in thought. That's all you're good for. Let's see what my man Ron has in store for me. Ah, uh, hey, it's you guys. And just as I was thinking, hey, I haven't seen those guys in a little while, and I wonder how they are doing, and if they need to purchase anything. Let's see what you have in store then. Even more Stardust. And the Burning Promise. After dousing the adversary's pyre, the beer earns a reward of five soul. You know what? That sounds like it's actually pretty handful, pretty useful. Let's grab it. Yes. And I have starters I can put in that. Has no effect on this. Some garbage. Uh, the black up here, you can have this. And what else do we have? Gold Brazer. I don't think I'm going to use it, but I want to keep it. Direct her talisman to enhance it. Only usable once. <sighs> Let's keep it like that for the moment, shall we? Anything else in here? Don't think so. Yeah, let's keep it like that. Let's go. Who am I going to give it? Who am I even going to use on my next ride? I really feel like keeping on Sir using Sir Gilman, but I feel like I need to use a combination of these four jokers here. Because they have quite a bit of enlightenment going for them. I feel like he should be close to the next rank as well, so... Yeah, I'm going to use him. Quickness isn't even all that good. So let's try it with him. Earning some money, you know? You are fast to recall. I don't even think she needs it because she's already pretty fast to recall. And you have presence. I don't even think you need that all that much either. Let's try it out for you. There we go. Alright, thank you, Ron. Uh, thanks for stopping by, guys. And let's commence the ride. Here, among the money bleakness of the pit of Milleth, you await the signal of the stars. There is no sign yet of your expected adversaries, the accusers. Then the little imp, Tizo, flutters up to you. Hurrah, hur, hurrah. He cautions me so that he has history with your next adversary, Landel. Oh, okay. Tio seems to be indicating that Lennel has a personal vendetta against him. Oh, you have to fight then. But before you can explain anything further, the stars begin to call to you. It's the right time, boys and girls, and I can't wait. I am very eager for this. Whew, your adversaries grow stronger each time you face them. You may see which talisman and masteries they have prior to reach your right. Look forth, you uh -huh. Exiles of the night wings. I'm looking, I'm looking all right. Scribes summon you to the pit of Milith. Let them summon me. The triumvirate you stand against shall be mm. the accusers. The accusers, huh? Whosever fire yet burns ere the break of dawn shall surge forward on the path to glory. Oh, that's going to be me, you now better believe it. Prepare yourselves. Because uh, your companies are assembled and ready for the rats to commence. However, there's still no sign of your adversaries, the accusers. The little imp teases creatures something, cautioning you all to stay alert. But then, someone leaps forth from the shadows. He grabs at his mask. Aha! Caught out, you miserable beast! I knew it after all this time. I knew that you were still among their ranks. Hurrah! The user was angry to have stumbled into an apparent trap laid to him by Landel. Silence, fiend! 
You rob me of my freedom, my dignity. Your evil shall be ended here and now. And you, Nightwings, shall not deny me thus again. Come then, my accusers. For we face again none other than the spawn of the accursed imp, Haup the Swallow. Let us show him now that he is a disgrace. First with the eight scribes of the Book of Rights, known as the Gracious or the Accursed. An imp of rare intellect, he showed compassion to Solia Murr after he fell into exile. Teaser whistled something angry back at him. Whatever transpired between him and Landel in the past, Landel evidently has not let it go. Okay, Landel. Now let us get started. First of all, let me check you. He isn't even all the string, it's only one mastery effect. But their pyre is going to be pretty resilient. This one, Vispa, gains more stamina, letting him jump and do other things more often. And his power cast travels in a wider, longer line than usual. That's good to know. And you do the same, yes. Oh, interesting. So as long as their power is greater than mine, which it is right now, they will deal more damage to mine. I have to be careful around that. Okay. I feel like there is no way around Tizo. Mm, they are doing fine for themselves. Let's go with Bay. I think. I haven't used her all that much recently. And I feel Hadwin has a... He has to prove that this gold bracer is good, right? Edwin, All of them have pretty good presents, too. That Landel's loss is cool. Let's get him while he's flustered. Night Rings, the wicked fiend yourself is an affront. He denied my rightful freedom in my moment of triumph. I shall never forgive him or any of you. I want you to know that Tizo is not... The one I serve. He's a trusted friend of mine, and you better treat him with respect. Begin. Boom, baby. Jump. And another one bites the dust. They're coming back pretty fast, too. Ah, oh, damn. Ah, oh, that's bad. Oh, I can actually jump out of that. That's good to know. Good, well done, Bay. Good shot there as well. And she still got me. Damnation. Ah, oh, I went too close to that bog there. That was a power shot too. Nice jump, my friend, and there we go. Nice. And another one. Now we are even. Now they don't deal more damage to mine. The two flames now burn equally as, bright. as they should. And that's another one. The flames of freedom. Indeed. There's a running out. Hold still, you misbegotten little pox. We are not finished with you yet. No, 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 no. Tease others at Lanel a slew of the absolute worst in profanity. Your curse is going to possibly affect me any further, you false spawn, for you have taken everything from me already. But if I am to be trapped in this forsaken hole with you for the reminder of my days, then I shall see to it that yours shall be as doleful as my own. So resentful, man. I agree. Oh, damn. I agree there as well. Good shot. And we make a war. Oh, damn. No. Oh, he got me. That it does. And I'm not too happy about that. Oop. There you go. Very nicely done, Tizo. Oh, I am not overconfident. I would say I'm very confident. Ooh, this is nice. No. Nope. Faked you out. 
And there we go for another one. Teaser earning me that money. Shoot it. And there you go, Hedwin. Only 10 points left, you jokers. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Ah, oh, he spawned in time. No. There you go. Yeah, no, 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 no. Ah, so close. Damn. That's one point for them. Very nice goal, guys. All right, teaser. No. So close. Yeah, so do I. That's one down. That's two down. Oh my god, where does the orb go? Damn. No idea where that orb was going there, but that's good. You are done for. Nope. Very nice goal, Bay. Very nicely done indeed. For freedom. Oh, yeah, that it was. I feel like I'm getting the hang of these rights now. Scree hee ha, you did amazing. It's very pleased that you prevailed, but wishes to make a quick exit at this time. <laughs> Blast! Where did he go? Where did he go? That infernal imp. It is a monster in disguise. A fiend. Come forth to torment me until the day I die. Man, this man is such a victim. Lando storms off in a fit of anger. Teaser appears once the coast is clear and expresses his gratitude again. What Lando said before. If Teaser truly is a descendant of Haup the Swallow, then he has quite a legacy to live up to. I think he has been doing a great job at that. I agree. Yeah, be inspired, boys and girls. Oh, that's good. Ah, oh, so close. All right. I really like this leveling system, by the way. Because, as you see... Uh, people that I don't use in the rights, they get some kind of... Ah, how should I put it? Making the wagon after prevailing over the accusers in a solid performance, you are able to recover for a time, though you have another task this night. They get some XP, but they only get it the next time they actually face the rights themselves, which is a very cool system, because you don't feel bad about not using them, but you aren't paid up front for not using them either. Which is it's a very cool system. I really would like to see more games have something like that in their experience point systems. Time again to seek out where the rights shall take you next by searching for the answers in the waning starlight. Let's do it then. The stars yet shine for you, revealing various paths forward. Let's gaze into the darkness of the night. And I have some more stars. Haub, the Midnight Star. Goal, the South Star, and Yomue, the Dusk Star. That's where I am right now, right? Who do I face here? Haup, the Midnight Star. The Midnight Star burns bright over the cairn of Haup. The Delbert Old Heart. Oh, I really don't want to fight the Witch again. I remember that fight was very, very hard. And the dissidents are led by the Barker Ash Paws. I want to feed. I want to meet Dalbert Oldheart again because that one was very nice. He had respect in his bones, you know. Let's go for him. Your next adversaries are to be the Fate, headed by Dalbert Oldheart and his son. They show unyielding respect to a tradition which shows them no such love. He then shares with you what details he attained of your next adversaries. Dalbert Oldheart, an adversary who showed you respect and even generosity. Despite his advanced age, he also made for a formidable opponent, he and his son. The so-called Armor the Helpless, ever present at his father's side. He was abandoned as an infant before Dalbert found him and raised him as his own. Dalbert thought his son everything he knew of his cultural heritage as a descendant of one of the alpha chiefs thought to be the descendant of Yomwe Manimane himself. 
an alpha chief that united the curse under a single banner and charted half the known world. However, his more vocal attempts to preserve our Kirkwan traditions in the Commonwealth often fell deaf ears or even roused the anger of officials. One day he insisted on celebrating Fang Song against the wishes of his family. His family's caution was well founded in this case and he was taken into custody. An old core Kerr holiday in which a single pack of Kerrs vanquished an entire Imperial Brigade. And Jomuya's jaws and Jomuya's many manes run red that day. That's a very peculiar festivity. As for Almer, as his father was led away, he put up enough of a fight to where he wound up sharing his father's cell. And soon enough, his sentence. In the downside, their faith brought them in contact with a pack of spiritual curse residing in Yomwea Valley. In time, they have been acquainted with the rites and helped to revitalize the long struggling triumvirate known as the Fate. An honorable triumvirate determined to uphold the traditions of the rites. Led by the Kerr, Dalbert altered, which with the help of his adopted son, the Savage Almer the Helpless. They have since struggled on, at times flirting with freedom, though seldom getting within striking distance. Yet, still, they long to find a way to return to their ancestral home and family. Should they succeed in all of this, only one of them would be returned. They must know that by now. Either way, you shall see them again soon. Please rest yourself for now, while dark of night remains. You bid Tariq a good evening. It is too late to take flight, so you make plans to rise at dawn to continue your travels. I was about to say, someone probably wants to talk to me, right? Oh, it's you. I'm reading one more page before that. The Pit of Millith. If there is one celestial landmark in which I would never again wish to tread, unless, of course, the stars beseech me to, it has to be the pit. Twas dark in there beyond all reckoning. If not for Millith's sorcerer's lantern, all of us, we all would have been lost. What lies within the pit is not to be invoked, although I have no doubt our goodly under king shall be unable to prevent himself from boasting of how Millith steeled it there for an entire age. The thing yet lies there, on the edge of death, through its connection to the stars. It gives the pith significance. Walk there with courage and a steady mind. Let's close the book and hear Tizo out. Anything else in here? I don't think there is. Tizo has seemed somewhat less cheerful since his run-in with Lanel and the accusers. He approaches you, wanting for you to hear him out. Rahum. Oh, don't be like that. Seems unhappy about something Lennel said to him. When he called you a fiend, Teaser stands full well while Lennel is angry with him. Squarheek. While Teaser does not like Lennel as a person, he recognizes Lennel as that he denied his freedom. Hurium. It was a liberation, right? He did what he felt necessary. He wanted to help his friend go free. Nonetheless, he still feels a certain guilt and regrets that the rights force exiles into such situations. Listen, you out, Tizo. You are a better man than that Lanel is ever going to be because you feel this kind of regret for him. Mark my words. He falls silence for a while. Whether the eight scribes ever intended for him such as he to participate in rights firsthand is difficult to know for certain. Then, Rahik is grateful for you for listening. He knows the scribes created the rites with good intentions. Screark! He promises to keep doing his best to live up to this legacy of the scribes. Expecting nothing less of you, my friend. Nothing less. He bounds up into the rafters with some of the other drivehims. Regardless of whether he truly is a descendant of Haub the Swallow, surely the scribes would have been proud of him. And I absolutely agree. Anyway, guys, that's all for today's episode. Thanks for being here with me, and I'll see you in the next episode. Until then, have the greatest of days.